So we're really interested in the idea of these thermal landscapes. In landscape ecology, we usually think about landscape change in terms of differences in vegetation cover. And so we think about primary forest being replaced by pasture, agriculture, cities, etc. But one of the things that we're interested in, in the lab is the idea that those changes in land cover actually influence the thermal environment. And so what we're doing is replacing cool thermally buffered forest with warmer variable cover types and that variation in land cover and temperature is what's going to have a big effect on species and their ability to navigate these thermal landscapes. We're in Colombia in the eastern slope of the Andes in a biodiversity hotspot characterized by high species richness and endemism, but also high human impact. In the lab, we do lots of different kinds of work, including spatial analysis of satellite imagery and laboratory experiments. But we're here now to do field work along this elevational gradient. Here we have access to lowland sites where the climate is hot and tropical, and higher elevation sites where the climate is much cooler. And that difference in temperatures between high and low elevations mimics the differences we might expect to see under climate change. At each one of our sites, we have access to forest and a clearing, and so by sampling along this gradient, we get a sense of how species are navigating these novel thermal landscapes. Todas las noches nos dirigimos a nuestros puntos de muestreo cerca de la ciudad de Villavicencio con la finalidad de obtener los animales para hacer nuestras pruebas térmicas. Una vez en los puntos, nosotros realizamos búsquedas por censos de encuentros visuales en cuadrantes de 20 por 20 durante media hora aproximadamente. En algunos otros lugares nosotros hacemos búsquedas libres y sin restricciones. Una vez encontramos el animal, los ponemos en bolsas plásticas, tomamos las coordenadas y les asignamos un código de identificación. For amphibians and reptiles that can't maintain a constant body temperature, the more sensitive species are more affected by heat as it gets warmer. And we think that that's what might be happening here at the Botanical Garden, where 10 years ago we used to have a large population of salamanders, but we've recently been seeing a huge population decline. We think that climate change might be eliminating individuals from the lower, warmer areas while they're still persisting at the higher, cooler environments. The species I'm working with is the tropical terrestrial longless salamander Bolitoglossa altamazonica. We're conducting a population study where we survey 20 by 20 meter plots at different elevations to estimate population densities. To do this, we mark the salamanders with this harmless glow-in-the-dark pigment so that we know how many individuals we have at the warm versus the cool sites. We also do experiments in the lab where we measure the maximum temperatures that they can tolerate and we do this to see if the declines at the warmer sites are related to the animals being too close to their thermal limit. getting the critical thermal maximum of the animals in this tub of water. Uh, the critical thermal maximum is the body temperature at which an animal uh, loses its writing response, so basically when it is no longer able to function. So I'm doing that by uh, gradually putting hot water through the syringe into this bath. Rosemary is moving it around. That gradually increases the temperature of the bath about 0.3 Celsius a minute. So we're looking at these guys closely, and once it looks like they're starting to go limp, we'll flip them over, and if they don't write themselves in about five seconds, then we'll use this thing and press it up against their body and get their uh, body temperature, and that will be the cr critical thermal maximum. Nosotros actualmente estamos interesados en cómo las presiones tales como el cambio climático y la deforestación afectan a las especies que se encuentran en los alrededores de Villavicencio. Por tal motivo, mi proyecto de tesis se relaciona con el endurecimiento o la aclimatación rápida que presentan estas especies eh, frente a los diferentes eventos de posible cambio de los ambientes térmicos en su hábitat natural.